G'day Spurs fans, it's Paul the Hot Spur Hippie here, the only psychedelic soccer show on the internet. And I'm sure you out there know how much I love stats. Oh, I'm a big spat stats buff. Well, I'm not really, but found something interesting here. And uh, I've got to thank Jacob of United Spurs, Spurs of America, America's number one Tottenham channel, for... Uh, showing this to me before we went on stream. We didn't talk about it, but I did a bit more digging myself. So what I'm going to show you is this thing here. It's, uh, it shows where a team is in control um, in each game and uh, where they're not in control. So if it's blue, it means you're, ah, that's ours, back, back, back. If it's grey, it's like, Whoa. and if it's red, it means, eh, eh. so, um, I'm showing here the, uh, the uh, stats for last season. And if we zoom in and look at little old Tottenham Hotspur, ooh, there's your pragmatic football for you, eh? Looks like a great big space invader coming to attack us. There we are, cowering in our little box, just giving them the ball, letting them play football, bobbling around. Hopefully they'll cock it up. Maybe we'll score a goal as a result. Didn't happen really, we let in loads of goals. And then we zoom back out again. Um, now we go to, uh, what, else, what, uh, what what we do now? One interesting thing I found is if you, let's have a, look, a little look at Man United. Can't really discern any clear pattern there, any clear philosophy. But you know, Ten Hag was building, wasn't he? So, you know, it's a bit all over the place. It's understandable. Anyway, we'll nip forward to this year so far. Ooh, how things have changed. Now, without zooming in, have a look at that. Which teams would you say are tippity top of most of the poppermost? Well, in one short half a season, let's have a look at Tottenham Hotspur. Look at this. We're dominating in all areas of the pitch, except the six-yard box. But, I mean, no team really does that. How the tables have turned, eh? How the tables have turned. Now we know that we're playing football all over the pitch all over the pitch and our oppositions doesn't matter who they are are caring caring away um and if we have a quick look at manchester united still not a clue eh? still not a clue they don't know what they're doing do they let's just refresh your memory manchester united last year manchester united this year i don't think ten Hag's doing well and it's interesting to look at this year aston villa Again, don't seem to have any clear plan of attack there. So this year, this is to me, we're playing a bit of football. I've heard a few, uh, a few bits of criticism that I just want to dispel. and I'd like to thank people in my comments that have helped me with this when I'm doing my live streams. Myth one, Spurs always lose against rubbish teams. Not true. This year we have only lost twice against teams that are currently in the bottom half of the table. Uh, Spurs, what's another one? Spurs always, Spurs always need to go a goal down to, um, to uh, get fired up. Well, we're currently third in that list. Manchester City are top, they've gained 21 points from a losing position. We've gained 19. Now that says to me that we never give up says also to me that we're playing our style of football no matter what. And if we go 1-0 down, calm heads, boys, calm heads. We know that if we stick to our guns, things may well turn our way. Another myth I've heard is that we always have a good game and then a bad game. We're very inconsistent this year. How many bad performances have we had this year? Out of, what, 28 games? How many bad performances? Myself, I would say four. Some people might say more. But, uh, I mean, if you're talking inconsistency, you're really talking up in the realms of 10, aren't you? 10, 10, 10 rubbish games, 10 good games, 8 average games, it's nothing of the sort. So I'm happy with the way we're going. This is real progress for Tottenham Hotspur. And just showing that, that uh, graphic on how we dominate the areas of pitch, just once again, last year under Conte, when we were just letting the other team play football, when we were just, I don't know what we were doing, really. <laughs> this year under Ange Postacoglu. It turns into results. It shows that uh, most of the time, the players are actually listening to Ange. 
sometimes you know that doesn't happen everyone has an off day once in a while but it certainly doesn't show that there's any pattern of uh, rot or decay at Tottenham Hotspur we just had an off day and you know there's a few reasons why it could be one reason I'll pull out of my backside is maybe we just needed a little bit of the humble stick to uh, put us back in our place um, you hear when you've heard I, I've heard old managers like Bill Nicholson Brian Clough talk about what's one of the most important things they've got to do as a manager is to keep players on the level you can't let them get too ahead too too confident breeds arrogance and complacency when you're down the dumps you've got to pick them up rely uh, trust that they, you know remind them that they have got the ability to play football just keep them on the level keep them on the level so i don't want, i don't really want to say that the Aston Villa game was the loss we had to have. But I don't think in the scheme, scheme of things that it is a wheels falling off scenario on our season. I'm very confident when the boys come back from uh, international football that uh, everything will be fine and dandy. So there you have it, eh? I think things are looking bright. Now, as a football fan, what would you rather see? This... Or this. Ah. I know I'd rather see it. I saw a, a, an interview uh, with uh, Tim Sherwood talking on Optus Sport. And, you know, sometimes he's a bit off the mark. But uh, I think he was on the mark this one. He said the fans love Ange because he's, he's honest. He's always the same. Tottenham fans are being entertained this year. Okay, sometimes, uh, you know, on the odd occasion... We don't know what to expect. But even when we play brilliantly, we don't know what to expect. And that's the thing I love about seeing a full-flowing Tottenham side, is you just have no idea how they're going to create something magical. And, uh, and I, th I think this year they've created plenty of those moments. Moments in games where I've just not believed how a goal's come about. One-touch football, flicks, pinpoint passes, uh, confidence at the right time trusting your ability and I think we've done very well so far so uh, I uh, I'm looking forward to the last 10 games of the season man I think uh, it's gonna be very exciting it's gonna be entertaining no matter what people say Tottenham Hotspur are entertaining aren't they a lot of people a lot more people I reckon are watching Tottenham Hotspur as a second team than Aston Villa or Manchester United they're watching the mighty Tottenham Hotspur by far the greatest football team the world's ever seen anyway till next time folks peace and love man Coming Spurs.